Let us make a tray for an implant model. First thing, shift A to get yourself a cylinder. The default cylinder is a bit large, so we're going to go in the left hand corner and set the radius to 2 millimeters and depth to 20 and align to view. Then scale and then shift D to place it another one to the other location. Make sure your local axis is on so that you can then pull the blue line down so that it follows the exact um, line downwards. Then we're going to join these up with the model being the last to join and then in the tray module we're going to survey it and then make a blocked model. Then we're going to use pencil tray outline and then E to extrude and G to grab or click on the extrude and then left click all the way down to the end and then F to fuse. Following that we can click on auto tray upper or in this case I'm going to show you how to do some cool stuff with the spacer. So this is our space layer we can set it to two or three millimeters depending how much material you want to use and then click apply. Now this is the space layer and the cool thing with this is that we can edit the space layer. So here I'm going to be making occlusal stops. So make sure your magnet snap tool is on and proportional editing is on. Select a vertice and then G to grab and that snaps it to the underlying model. So as you can see it'll, it'll diminish that space layer to nothing. So I'm going to make a few more. G to grab and let it just snap to the incisal surface. And then we're going to toggle out of it and make our tray layer. So it's 2.7, we can make this thick or thin as we like. I've made it 2.5 and then apply and then finish up a tray which then cuts the layer to where your line was beforehand. Then I'm going to click on beading and this tube is really cool because control A we can make this tube thicker or thinner and this will make a nice smooth ending to our border. Then we're going to click on confirm beading and this will put us into a mesh, voxel mesh and we can remesh it and we can sculpt it if we want to and then exit. This is a voxel remesh and then click on remesh. Alt B to show you where the occlusal incisal stop is. Next we're going to place our tray handle, S to scale, R to rotate, G to grab and then let's edit this tray which is very cool because then we can extrude this through the, the layer and we can do whatever we want with these vertices. It's a bit like chewing gum so we can just move it. S to scale it. So we've got lots of control with this handle. We can make it thicker if we like. It's 6mm default. Note that the tray extrudes through the handle and but when we click on finish handle it'll cut it off. Following this, I'm, I'm going to, we can smooth it even more. It's not mandatory to do this, but if you want to be precise, you can do it and then exit. After that, I'm going to decide to paint a few holes in the tray. Click on paint holes. If you do make a mistake, click the minus and that will get rid of your selection. And wherever you paint the red, we will be able to make some holes in it. Once that's done, we still have to make our holes for our implant assemblies. So please go to the model designer, click on curve cutting, scale the curve, shift D to duplicate it and click on keep outside. Then once you've confirmed where you want the cuts to be, apply this. And then just for fun, I'm going to go into the logo designer and put a little tiger there on the, on the uh, middle of the palette. You can convert any, most images you can convert using Inkscape from the internet. It's a free program. So here let us emboss this onto the tray. And then finally, um, we're going to still put the name on top of the 
the handle in the model designer click add text s to scale g to grab and let us for fun just um, engrave this into the handle so finally just to demonstrate the occlusal stops and in cross section we can see as well where the tray will stop going down. Thanks for watching.